Hi friends, welcome back to LGF. So, in the last lecture, we have seen or uh, we discuss about the gate problems, right? Now we have remained with only this single concept related to this unit, and that is the relative stability concept. So today we'll cover this and finish this unit, and from next video onwards we'll come to the root locus. Correct? So friends. If uh, I'll give you brief brief summary about the what we did in this unit. So this is the RH criteria, okay, in which we consider the characteristic equation, isn't it? This is our first or initial point. First, we have to make the characteristic equation. Then we have to proceed. After this, what we prepared? We prepared the RH table, isn't it? In the RH table, we basically focus to the first column. Okay. Basically, the first column we have seen. So, based on sign changes. Based on sign changes, we concluded whether the system is stable or unstable, isn't it? Based on R O Z row of zeros, we concluded symmetricity of the poles around origin. Okay. We did this. So, in the R O Z concept, system will be unstable if when the system was unstable when repetition repetition was there means if your R O Z is greater than one, so definitely your system will be unstable. That is hundred percent. In the R O Z. We have seen system is marginally stable also. Marginally stable. This condition we have seen if R O Z equal to one exactly and no sign change. Uh, sorry, no change in sign. Okay, when I'm talking about the no change in sign, so definitely we are looking into first column. This is our base. Isn't it? So this is the we discussed till now. RH criteria. We form the characteristic equation, then RH table. Then we discussed or we checked our values in the first column. Values of what sign changes? If there is a no sign change in the first column, definitely the system will be stable. If there is sign changes, system will be unstable. And number of sign change is equal to Number of poles of the system in the RHS plane. Okay, then in the second scenario we got the row of zeros in the RH table. Okay, so row of zero indicates the symmetricity of poles around origin. In the ROZ, if you have repetition of ROZ two times, you are getting row of zeros. Definitely your system will be unstable, hundred percent. If your ROZ is marginally sorry. If your R O Z is only once coming in single time, so I can say it's marginally stable if and only if your you are not getting any sign change in the first column of the R H table. So what it means, whenever you will get the R O Z in the R H table, your system will be not stable. At least I can say I can't guarantee for the stable system. If you have R O Z in the R S table, you have two things. It may be unstable, it may be marginally stable, but it can't be stable. Remember this point, okay? So this is all about we discussed till now. Means uh, up to the lecture number twenty third. Now today twenty fourth lecture, the last concept that is the relative stability concept. So this concept says, friends, relative stability. Means your system will be definitely stable system, but we'll discuss about the relative stability between the stable system. What I mean is, see, wait a minute. Let me take the pen. 
friends as you all people know in the ias examination 2017 from double e branch we have 49 topers or 49 selected candidates only in e sorry it's ec electronics and telecommunication we have 48 people or 48 students and they are selected into the ies okay so this all people if uh, wait a minute so let's consider this double e people okay so 49 topers we have in the ies examination correct so all are the topers isn't it why because so many people appeared for this particular exam only 49 selected candidates correct but in these 49 students what you have you know <clears throat> if the air 20 ranker and if i'll take the air 10th ranker so this 10th ranker is relatively more topper than 20th isn't it air 1 is more topper relatively more topper than this this all are toppers no no doubt at all but there is a relativity in between them also isn't it if i'll talk about air 1 and air 2 the one is rel relatively more topper than two similarly over here also the relatively stability concept is applicable for the closed loop stable system only stable systems only means definitely your system will be stable now you will check what you will check relative stability relative stability means who is more stable isn't it all this 49 students are stable or toppers isn't it but if you will compare two students one will be relatively more topper the same thing is over here also okay so the point is the relatively stability concept applicable for only closed loop systems only isn't it now see how it will work i'll take one problem so this is the question in this question they are asking check whether the time constant tau is greater than 1 less than 1 or equal to 1 second to the given unity feedback system whose transfer function is given open loop transfer function actually open loop transfer function is nothing but gs hs but here hs is 1 so open loop transfer function is gs 2 divided by s s plus 1 s plus 2 hs equal to 1 or this question is the same over here also check the system is relatively stable or not check whether the system is relatively stable or not with respect to s equal to minus 1 correct so system is given first i'll check whether system is stable or not because relatively stable concept is applicable for the stable system only correct here how i'm getting that the system is the relatively stable system friends see what he is asking check the system is relatively stable or not with respect to a is equal to minus 1 in this see in in the second way you are directly getting this is the relatively stability concept but what about the, in this first check whether the time constant here in terms of time constant is asking tau is greater than 1 tau is less than 1 tau equal to 1 second to the given feedback system so this is also relatively stability concept because here also we are checking the time three different values of time constant okay in three different ranges so the condition is see first i'll check the system is stable or not definitely it will be stable let's form the characteristic equation characteristic equation is 1 plus gs hs equal to 0 okay so 1 plus 2 s s plus 1 s plus 2 equal to 0 correct so when you will form it you will get the equation a cube 3 s square Plus two s plus two equal to zero. This is the third order. Easily we can check inside multiplication. That is six. Six is greater than outside 
मल्टीप्लीकेशन दैट इज टू सिक्स ग्रेटर देन टू मैन सिस्टम इज स्टेबल ओके सिस्टम इज स्टेबल नाउ द कंडीशन इज विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू एस इक्वल टू माइनस वन वी हैव टू चेक द सिस्टम स्टेबिलिटी करेक्ट सो आई वुड लाइक टू चेंज दिस विट ए मिनिट Again, I'm writing equation over here: a cube, three a square, plus two a plus two equal to zero. Okay. If I'll draw the a plane over here, so where you have here you have a equal to zero, and here you have a equal to minus one. Means what you will do with respect to this point? you will find out the relative stability now means you will post your this is the goal post kind of thing isn't it so now we will shift your entire this graph or a plane up to this then you will check the system is relatively stable or not so condition how i'll shift this see condition is a should be equal to minus 1 this is the reference point they are giving this is the reference point they are giving and with respect to this point you have to check the relatively stability so this point is nothing but a plus 1 equal to 0 or not so a plus 1 equal to 0 i'll take this equal to z means what i am doing this is the a plane so i'm taking or converting for my calculation only into z z domain where z will be see The, if this is the s plane this line is s equal to 0 if this is the z plane so this is the reference so z equal to 0 so z equal to 0 no problem at all over here and z equal to 0 if i'll take the relation of z and s it will be s plus 1 isn't it friends now what you will do instead of this equation suppose you want to shift this equation at z equal to 0 what you will do A is equal to z minus one. You will put over here everywhere. Z minus one cube, three z minus oh sorry one square plus two z minus one plus two equal to zero. Is it clear to you people? See what I'm doing is I'm just shifting the point here. This is point or this equation is given or checked. The stability of this system with respect to a is equal to zero, isn't it? This is our a plane, okay? But the, in this equation, I am checking my stability is a is equal to minus one. How I am doing like this? See, I am shifting the entire this spectrum or this graph to z equal to zero. Z equal to zero is nothing but they have given a is equal to minus one. I have to consider a is equal to minus one. This minus one will come to this side. So a is plus one equal to zero is the equation of this line, isn't it? So this is nothing but z equal to zero or not? So relation between z and s is given like this. A is z minus one. So I put the values of a is z minus one. So entire spectrum. i'm getting at a is equal to minus 1 i hope it's clear to you correct now please find out this equation you will get you will get z uh, cube minus z plus 2 equal to 0 now we'll check this system is stable or not so definitely this system is unstable because one of the properties we have seen if you are getting negative term in the characteristic equation the system will be unstable system so what it means at a is equal to minus 1 your system is relatively unstable not unstable okay it's relatively unstable relatively unstable okay friends now what it means relatively unstable see if you'll get s domain Okay, when the system will be unstable, this is s equal to zero. When the poles are coming to this side, means in the RHS, if your poles are coming, then you will say your system is unstable. If you are getting the your poles in the LHS, then your system will be stable. Okay, now what you did over here, you shifted your graph at z equal to zero, and you are getting relatively unstability. Means for this equation. 
the poles will be tell me this side or this side definitely at rhs correct but in between 0 to minus 1 okay don't take this over here this is entire system is unstable but here this is the concept for relatively unstability correct okay don't worry let me show you over here clearly so this is the initial s plane you have now you separated it at s equal to minus 1 for the calculation purpose i took this z equal to 0 so relation between these two is z equal to s plus 1 correct so i am getting relatively unstable relatively unstable means your poles will come to this side okay not this side it will come to this side okay so that's why your system is relatively unstable relatively unstable if your poles are coming over here it will be relatively stable if your poles are coming over here this is 100 percent unstable unstable so this entire thing if your poles are coming from here to here the system is stable system okay so this all are the double e 49 topos okay where you will get rank 1 relatively when you are moving like this you are relatively more and more stable so topo 1 is over here AIR 1 is over here, then 2, then 3, then 4, then 5, then 6. So the 49th one will be over here, okay? And over here, all are failed, unstable. Correct? I think you got now. So this is all about the relative stability concept. Now, one more concept we will discuss. And that is exponential sine or cosine terms. Okay, friends. So, this is the concept. Let me change the color. Uh, the RH criteria is not applicable for exponential sine or cosine terms because it gives infinite series. Okay. So, by RH criteria, we can get the approximate solution to the exponential terms. How? If your gs is given k e to the power minus ft, this is the exponential term, term given over here. So, how I'll take the approximation of this system? Uh, I'll take a, this e to the power minus st term is will become like this 1 minus st k. Everything will remain same. Okay. So, this is the approximation of the first order of the exponential term over here this is your open loop transfer function now you can easily convert or you can easily find out the characteristic equation for the system and you can proceed okay you'll put all values in the rh table then you will find out the stability of the system okay so this is all about the the third unit the stability concept we'll meet in the next session with the new topic a new chapter that is the root like locus okay friends so we'll meet in the next till then take care and bye